Hey Aries, welcome to your forecast, okay? For those of you that are new to this channel, I want to welcome you. I am an intuitive, so I am looking into the cards, sort of scrying rather than reading what the card says, so to speak, getting messages from spirit guides on what they want me to look at in that card. Um, some of what I see may not be traditional, but for sure, if you like hear Ace of Wands and you're like, oh, that totally resonates as far as the traditional meaning, well, keep that as your own. Leave the rest behind. All right, roles can be reversed whenever you come upon this, right? Time is fluid. If it resonates, that's when it was meant to find you. And for those of you returning, thank you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe because when I do the Soul Path readings, the uh, order in which I release them will be based on all of that loving contributions. If you'd like to learn more about me, get a personal reading, everything is down below, okay? So every reading I start out with my personal deck, you can find out about all of my decks down below, reading for the collective. So you can always jump onto any of my readings, Just listen to the little blah, 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 right? Listen to your collective message for the day and move on. All right. But for the collective here, okay, you um, sent out energy and it's coming in hard and heavy back. Okay. Very stubborn energy pulling forward towards you. You feel like things are just ordinary. Like this is coming at you in a way that you don't know. Um, but it's going to end a cycle, a big cycle, okay? Um, someone wants to be a little more than friends here. Um, someone wants to be a part of your life is what I'm hearing from spirit. And it felt to you like it was something that was coming very much in the future. But I feel like they're ready now, okay? So whoever that resonates for. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. We're going to look at the next 30 to 45 days. I'm going to do it in three sort of sections. You can look at that at around 10 days a piece or 15 days a piece, whatever resonates for you. Okay. So section one, section two, section three. Okay. Underlying all of this is where you are at is where it's at. Don't try to control this. Don't try to put expectations into this. Okay, be patient and stay still in whatever's coming towards you until it actually arrives. Okay, some of you are like, oh, 3,000 miles an hour now. In the first section, okay, Angel number 33, discovering your superpowers, okay? You're accessing 100% of your mojo, really connecting with your higher self, rising like the phoenix, okay? Coming into this really, really powerful energy, like you see your path now, okay? In the second section here, we've got the Knights of the Round Table. So there may be a little bit of darkness before the dawn, but on the other side of this portal, okay, you've got all of these angels and guides and celestial beings and spirit totems, like everyone's on the other side waiting for you to arrive to your next destination in this so that you can get this healing that you are seeking, this energy. And then they're sending you off on your quest. It's almost like I feel like she's like, goodbye. I love you, right? Um, plunge boldly into whatever this is for you. Okay, very beautiful energy. So let's dig a little bit deeper. Okay, you're discovering your superpower. Okay, ooh, thank you. Page of Wands, Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, right? There's an awakening here. It could be of a spiritual nature. It could be that maybe you have 
moved into plant medicine. Maybe you are accessing the DMT through shamanic journeys or meditation. Okay, but you're suddenly seeing what your heart wants and desires. Okay, there's an awakening within you. And it's allowing you to clear out old patterns. Okay. Queen of Swords, again, it's like your angels, your higher self, they're waiting for you. But you've got to go through this little bit of fear here. You've got to wipe that fear out through this superpower expression, okay, to get into this next space. And it seems like it's really long. It seems almost like never ending, okay? But it's all about releasing this past, okay? So let's see a little bit more. Tell me about the awakening. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups. Do you give up all of your hopes and dreams for your future for love? Okay, for what you're passionate about. It doesn't have to be a lover, right? But maybe you're putting all of your, thinking about putting all of your money into a business venture. Okay, um, or selling your house to go be like a vagabond. Okay, Oliver may bark. We'll wait a minute and see. Um, but the happiness that you'll get from letting go of whatever this is, is like overwhelming. Like it's just utter joy. And it's almost like your, <laughs> like your 3D self here with the Queen of Swords is like, I don't know that I, bu I buy into that, right? So let's look at the ice here, okay, the rigidness here. Yeah, okay, six of wands, abundance. You've worked the wheel. You've made all of these advances, right? You've created your circle and you feel good, right? You're like, I am happy where I'm at. I have abundance. I have enough. I feel comfortable. Why would I want to turn that wheel one more spoke here? Okay, the trek here, Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, it's because you just can't see what's on the other side, right? You have a passion for something, but you can't even see the fire there, right? Underneath, you're trying. You're, you're putting your head out there into the energy here. Okay, Page of Wands, again, trying to see it. That's the awakening. Okay. So the Knights of the Round Table, this illumination, okay? Yeah, inner wounds. Something's going to shine a light on a childhood wound here, okay? Where you're going to realize that it was a bigger emotional loss than you realized, but it's also an aha moment here, okay, that allows you to start feeling safe in this path of illumination, okay, the beauty path, the moon, okay, to manifest the magician, what it is that you seek and desire, knowing that you're safe to make that move forward, okay, thank you, spirit, yeah, okay, yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups, okay? It's letting go of the solid state that if you look at this King of Pentacles in my Divine Masculine deck, right? That's stability. Like, that's someone that has built themselves from scratch, right? And I feel like you've done that, but we've got the swans. That's my sign for Divine Partnership here right? You are being called further ahead because there's a, a love that you seek. There's a missing piece of your heart that you are looking to bring back in. Okay. Tell me about this inner wound. Okay. Yeah. Ancestral. You may hear a story about someone from your family and you realize that you've been carrying their wound around. It could be from a parent, okay, or a grandparent that you were very fond of. 
um, passing when you were young. And there, it's almost like whatever it was, it kind of closed off your heart. And this ancestor is working with you, okay? I'd like to open your heart back up. Get that heart beating again. Okay, the manifesting here. Ace of Wands. Okay, spark of life. It's that fire. Okay, King of Wands in reverse. But you feel like every other everything, like every other everything they're saying, right, is coming in to attack this. And that you're going to have to shed this and that and this and that. Like, you're like feeling like this is an overwhelming ask a spirit for you to process. Okay, but King of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Cups, like the Salmon, okay, you will always find your way to where you are meant to be. You will always find your way home. It is encoded in your DNA. It's already within you. Okay, Ten of Cups here, Ace of Swords, right? You know that you've been going through cycles and that your path lies ahead, okay? Again, you just don't know quite where it's taking you, but you know that there's going to be support. It's like accepting that there's going to be support, okay? There may be a little downtime, rest and recovery that is required for you though. Okay, because we go, right? We're manifesting with the magician here to the one, to the two, the quest, okay? Where you're saying goodbye, right? Taking this path forward. And here we have the queen of wands, right? Like you're moving forward, the knowing I'm moving forward, but I am terrified and I am freaking out inside. Okay. There's a little shadow work that's still following behind you that you're going to have to work through here. And as you walk off on your own, you do not feel Okay, like you have the support here. Six of Pentacles in reverse. But look at the bottom here. We've got the Shaman. Okay, the High Priest. There's a light shining for you, leading you to this unity. Okay. You just have to be in the faith and belief that what is for you is there. And not put expectations out there and just walk in the flow of awareness where you know, oh, I turn left here. Oh, I turn right here. Okay, here's where I pause for the night. Okay. For the heart here, yeah, there's a little bit of mourning in leaving not just your past, but leaving your ancestors, your guides, going back at this on your own. But the knowing here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, seven of wands, that you're leaving behind the fight. Okay, part of the fire that you're leaving behind here is the fight. Okay, you're coming into an easier energy. Okay, the support in reverse, yeah. Okay, it's because you've ended a cycle and at the end of the cycle, you needed more support, okay, under those branches. Keep them stable, right? We just went through the bone moon. It's called the bone moon because that's the sound the trees make when the winter cracks the trees, right? Your tree needed support. You don't really need that support right now. What you need now is instruction. And that's where spirit's going to be guiding you is in awareness, in the instruction, okay? So let's see what else Spirit wants to talk about here. Okay. Tell me about Aries' path here. Okay. Eight of Swords. Again, um, slowly but surely, you're freeing yourself. Okay. From whatever has tied you emotionally to this state of stagnancy. Okay. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's not by mistake. 
it's not coming by mistake to you at this time. But it's also asking you to quit trying to tap in to things that you can't really understand yet. Quit trying to tap into expectations. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Whatever you fear about being provided for, they're like, of course you're going to be provided for. You're going home, right? You're going to where you're meant to be. When you go home, everything's taken care of, right? But Two of Cups in reverse, again, you may be walking away from a person, place, or thing that you love and care for. And you've kind of built, right? Again, King of Pentacles in reverse. I built this from the ground up. There's a fear in not clinging to that energy. Okay. Because you see the path forward. And sometimes we don't want to walk off stage, right? We don't want to walk off stage where we are already honored and cherished. And people are giving us accolades to try something new. Okay, but there you go, right? Your tree is ready for rebirth. The season is over, okay? The universe is waiting. <laughs> and they're watching, okay? There's the world clarifying the world, right? We're watching you, waiting for you to come and have this rebirth. What is the lesson that you are learning here? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, number one, vision, right? You're being guided to just be in awareness, okay? You are creating the idea of what you desire in this situation, but you're pushing the connection into the mind and not bringing it into reality. That's expectation, right? Spirit's saying, just create, just believe, just imagine, okay? Because otherwise you get the stagnation, where it's just where you're at right now. You're at the plateau, ready to propel into new progression. This is the energy of the fool, but waiting. Oh, I'm ready to take this leap, right? I am tired from the climb, resting and waiting for the next steps forward. Okay. So, what's going on here with you emotionally? Okay. What's going on with you here emotionally, my friends, right? Okay, love. You may, again, you may really have cherished where you've been. And despite that you're this feeling, right? Um, your inner child is ready to go underneath here, right? It's like, honestly, right? We know where our path is forward. There's almost a relief for this path forward, but there's a lot of fear surrounding it. Okay. You almost feel ashamed and selfish for putting yourself first. Okay. Especially if like, if this is about a job and you have, you know, really been able to stay afloat because this company kept you working through the pandemic. And now you have some better options on the horizon. It's almost like you feel like, hmm, right? Like I'm a jerk. Why would I leave this great company for something that's better for me? Well, because that's your path. Okay. What's the emotional energy here of whatever you are leaving behind? <laughs> Envious. Okay. They're painfully aware that it's better for you. Okay. Yeah. There's a longing and desire to keep you right where you are. If this is a relationship, they could be throwing a lot of passion your way, trying to win you, win you back. Okay. What would the past 
say to you, okay? Okay, I want you to give me the truth, right? Are you leaving? Are you staying? But if you're leaving, don't, okay? Don't let me go. Okay, what about any future energies? Okay, this is nothing short of true romance. Okay, that is my card of kindred spirits, okay? That space where something just clicks or you look in someone's eyes and you just know, okay? You are not wrong about me, okay? Whatever you may think about the past, right? What you're feeling about moving forward, you are not wrong. This is where you're meant to be. What else would the past want to tell you, okay? There's still so many unsaid things between us, okay? There's a lot that you didn't know. I will come back for you. Okay, this person may feel like if I let you go, let you experience something else, like you'll find that this is where you're meant to be. Okay, future energy. <laughs> I can't take this anymore, okay? This person is, I feel like, stepping out of a situation that is just not serving them. Okay, I feel too much pressure right now. I was reminded of your scent recently. Okay, if this is someone from your past, something triggered them to start thinking about you. But what's going on, I feel like, in their life, or if this is a company, like a job, like this could be an energy where, like, these people are overwhelmed. Okay, just waiting for someone with your skill set to come in. And it's almost like they remember when life was easy, <laughs> okay? Um, but if this is love, this is somebody that's just feeling the essence of love and just remembering what that felt like and knowing that whatever they're in right now, it's not it, okay? So where are you on the journey with the past here? Thank you. Okay, inner child work and mirroring, okay? I do feel like this was definitely a mirror souls sort of connection, a soulmate where you, karmic, right? Where you were meant to learn the lessons you learned from this situation to start healing that inner child, to do that very important work. Okay, and to come to this crossroads where you have these split energies, where you got to make the decision, do I stay, do I go? Okay, where are you at on the journey playing here with this new energy? Okay, journaling. This is what you've been writing about and manifesting. Okay, this is what you've been hoping for and seeking. Okay, it's a new cycle. It's an emotional cycle, though, and you really are going to have to stay grounded as you move forward, okay? This is something that's going to feel like family, and I do feel that it's because you've been guided here through the heart by your ancestors, having healed that trauma, okay? Again, a soulmate, a completion, compatibility, a partner that you have been seeking in a special sort of way. And it's that crossing, right? The, br the bridge, there's the surrender, right? Surrendering to the divine. What else, spirit? What else for Aries? It's coming in soon, okay? Uh, you felt the energy here with the full moon. Um, 
that there's a very near change coming towards you. Uh, it was your inner child that really kind of sparked that. And it is, okay, um, 18th Pisces season. Here we've got the yin and yang being aligned, right, to come into this emotional path forward under the illumination of the moon. Okay, so I feel like by the next full moon, you'll probably be walking something on this path, right? Because um, we've got Jupiter here. Again, you're still confused. You want to see the path forward so that you have some sort of hope that this is where you're meant to be. Let me take a quick look for you guys. Okay, let me take a quick look here at... This is only for those of you watching it right now. But um, March 5th is when the light is shined on Jupiter, okay? The sun and Jupiter working together. And by the 20th, Mercury is working with Jupiter, right? So there's communication of the dreams becoming reality. Okay, um, the full moon is a Virgo on the 18th of March. Um, so definitely higher knowing. Okay, and um, we've got two extra long void moons in between there. So that time is going to be when you're at your most emotional and you should really seek the alchemy, right? I did post in the community post a link to a really great uh, article about the void moon and what to do during the void moon. So you might want to go look at that. Okay, again, you are only going to delay and postpone things if you don't allow yourself to just go with the flow and let what comes comes. When you put out that fear and expectations, right? Yeah, look, I've got to see what's coming. It pushes it time-wise into the future. Okay, you just have to be willing to grow and know that with each awareness, you're just taking the right steps. And that's hard. That's a really hard thing to do. I feel like that's going to be a very important part of my nine-week course in The Miracle of Love. Okay, so let's get a few closing messages from the universe. Okay, play. Again, right, we started with the Page of Wands. We've had it three times here. This is really um, a big message for you, right? Enjoy each moment. Play, have fun with the alchemy. Be in energies of joy as much as possible. And rather than worry, Thank you. Okay, yeah, the angels are helping you. Even when you start down the path where you feel like you're doing it alone, um, they're there helping you balance, okay, the choices, letting you feel which decisions are light and which are heavy, right? When you get in that situation where you're like, I don't know which way to go, like just ask your body, right? Like just feel it, which is heavy, which is light. Okay, your body will guide you. Your body will tell you the way because it's always tapped into those grids, right? And that's how you find the balance, okay? This is really about you moving into a state of awareness where you are balanced, right? Where you're not pulling from old wounds and you're letting yourself be guided to the path that you are meant to be on which, you know, we all should <laughs> hope to be there one day. <laughs> so let's all claim Eric's reading. <laughs> so I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful week. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe because I will come back and be looking at the analytics. It helps others to find these messages. 
it helps give back to the spirit for taking the time with me to guide you and it helps the channel and I appreciate it. All right. So much love. Thanks you guys. Bye.